Hey guys, welcome to yet another mini Marvel Minimate uh, review. Today we're going to take a look at uh, two mutants from uh, X Factor, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I, I kind of know, I happen to know them really well. Uh, I'm talking about none other than Richter and Boomer. And as you might have seen, this is a Toys R Us exclusive. So uh, it's a really cool. Uh, pack, not because it's a Toys R Us exclusive, but uh, because they're the X-Men, man, and X-Men rock. Uh, now we have um, red backdrop in the packaging, which I find quite interesting and awesome. Uh, we have Richter on one side and Boomer on the other side. On the back, we have Magma, uh, Mirage, Kingpin, Daredevil, First Appearance Punisher, and Spider Sense Spider Man. Now I saw uh, both Magma and Mirage uh, at Toys R Us, but I didn't get to see neither Kingpin and Daredevil nor Punisher and Spidey, which uh, I really wanted to buy. That Spider Sense Spider Man and, and Punisher. I was really hoping to get, to get my hands on them, but uh, well, what can you do? I found these guys, Rick and Boomer, on clearance. Toys R Us, they were, if I'm not mistaken, four bucks. So, for being a Toys R Us exclusive and being on clearance, it was a really great price for these toys. Now, uh, for those of you wondering who who these are, Victor and Boomer, uh, well, you have the their small bios right here. Uh, Victor uh, was a member of X Force and uh, now an X Factor. Uh, member basically his powers and abilities are uh, the same as Avalanche. Um, well, let's, let's just let's just say he's the, the good version of, of Avalanche. Uh, he has a mutant ability to unleash seismic energy, causing violent vibration and even earthquakes. Uh, his real name is Julio Richter, which is clever because uh, he's named after uh, the Richter scale, which measures seismic activity all around the globe. Uh, uh, a lot of earthquakes happening in here, by the way, but uh, whatever. Now, Boomer, with the ability to create time bombs of exploding energy, Tabitha Smith has been uh, recruited to several superhero teams, most prominently the mutant strike team X-Force. Okay, I first knew uh, Boomer in the X-Men Evolution TV series. Uh, originally, she was a member of the... Uh, the X-Men, I think, and then she was a member of the the Brotherhood of, Mut of Evil Mutants, but, uh, well. Uh, these fire thingies that I'm taking out are Boomer's accessories, which I'll get to that in a minute. And, yeah, ladies first, so I'm, I'm gonna get with, I'm gonna start with Boomer. Really, really cool looking uh, costume. Now, these, uh, this shoulder piece reminds me a lot of uh, Cable because it looks really similar. I love the green shades on her and her whole uh, 80s hairdo. I love the belt on her, which is the same uh, belt as Richter, except it painted uh, differently. You can remove her sunglasses, which reveals a uh, bold, but uh, nonetheless cute-faced uh, boomer. I think the, the chest piece can come off, but I'm not going to bother doing that uh, due to time reasons. So, you see her. Uh, really cool looking uh, costume pink and yellow and if you look closely at w uh, at one of her legs her left leg to be more specific you can read boomer all around her left leg so it's really cool uh, I love the gloves on there really really cool looking and like I said uh, her accessories are a couple of uh, flaming effect uh, effects or Flaming Fists, or Fists of Fury, or uh, whatever you want to call it. And uh, be sure to push them all the way, because they tend to fall off like so. So here's a Boomer. Really, really cool looking uh, figure. Now on to my favorite uh, figure of the pack. Usually, like I said before, you buy these Minimates for one figure in particular. but uh, And this is not uh, the exception. Richter. Julio Richter, very very cool looking uh, figure. He's got that 
the whole Apache thing uh, all around this costume, which I find really interesting and I like. I love the X, uh, the big X in the chest, as you can see it right here. Uh, he's got the long hair, which can be removed as well, and reveals a, ba a green bandana, which is awesome looking. He's got a shoulder piece as well, and another kind of uh, bandana here in the chest. He's got green gloves and the green belt, which I definitely love. Now the boots, man, the boots are really, really uh, great. They do come off. And actually, uh, I was uh, taking some pics, some pics of these two on Instagram, and uh, I uh, sat. Uh, well, I, I made Richter stand on the back of a, a plane, and he fell down. And my uh, TV furniture or whatever, and actually uh, one of his legs uh, came off, and I spent like five ten minutes uh, looking for that uh, boot, and I actually had to move the furniture where the TV is, which is which was really heavy, but uh, well, nonetheless, I I managed to find his leg. Articulation wise, um, they both have the same articulation. They have articulation in the head, shoulders, elbows, uh, wrists. Torso, uh, hips, knees, and that's about it. Really, really cool two-pack. If if you still manage to to find it, I definitely recommend it. If you're an X-Men fan like myself, uh, or you're a fan of these two characters, uh, very awesome. Uh, highly recommended. It. It's a definite no-brainer, and for the price, man, you don't need to think much about it, do you? Now, I, I think I first saw uh, Richter. And the X-Force comic books, but well, that's a story for another time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Until next time, take care. And may the Force be with us all. Later.